Hey guys, it's Jarek there, Dragon, and this is another accuracy test. This is of the CYMA CM.027J. This is CYMA's newer version with the their standard gearbox in here now. It's not their old, lower than MPEG quality gearbox, and the stock has also been uh, redone. So it's kind of windy today. I'm hoping to get through a calm spot so I can actually get this done, but if you see me stop firing or the video stutters because I've clipped the part out, it's because I was waiting for the wind to die down. And it's really windy today. So, um, yeah, let's get this accuracy test going. All right, so you're zoomed in on the 50 foot test and if you can hear it, the wind is very windy. But uh, oh and also as you've seen, we changed the targets again. The first, uh, they're all cans now, but we got a new method of putting them on there. They're all nailed down. First one will be semi-automatic on the very left, then the rest will be on full auto. So let's see what it can do. As you can really see, the wind is pushing them in every direction. All right, now let's go full off. All right, got a BB, got to wind it back up, but. I think that's enough shooting to get the general concept of how accurate it is at 50 feet. Uh, 50 feet, pretty easy to hit. It'd be a lot easier to hit if it wasn't so windy. Uh, let's go up to this tree over there so you can really see how windy it is. see it's extremely windy today it's really messing with the accuracy test so I'll probably end up redoing this one on a day where it's not as windy um, I can't really do it on a day where it's not windy at all because those days don't pretty much don't exist in Portland but uh okay enough ranting about the wind let's go down range see what happened to the cans all right so the one on semi-automatic got quite a few dents you hit it quite a bit amount of times uh, the others on full auto Hit quite a few times as well, a few dents, maybe a few tiny holes right there. Uh, this one I only got a few shots off at it and it hit it once, dented it here. So overall 50 feet, it's decently accurate, but you're going to be able to hit a man size target very easily. Can size target in wind of, I think, I don't know how many miles per hour this wind is, but very windy day. Still gonna be able to hit a man sized target pretty easily. Let's see if you can do that at 100 feet now. Alright, so you're zoomed in on the 100 foot target. Again, we're gonna be shooting at semi automatic first. Uh, the one on the left. Alright, let's see what it can do on full auto.
and it's out of ammo. Didn't refill it after the first 50 foot target, so. Yeah, but I think you can get the general point. I think that was enough. Uh, we hit the targets pretty much quite a lot of times, so let's go down range and see the actual cans. Alright, so here are the cans. Uh, not too much damage. This gun shoots at 300, 300 to 330 feet per second. So, it's not really the strongest gun, but MP5s are made for CQB, so you don't want it to be any stronger, since most places will tell you anything over 350 feet per second. I know a few places that say anything over 330 is too much and they won't let you play, so this is a good feet per second for CQB. Um, so you get you, not much damage to the cans, a few dents, there's a tiny hole right there, a few more dents over here, only took a few shots of these two, and a few dents. So, not going to be too much uh, killing of cans at 100 feet, however, at 100 feet you're still going to be able to hit a man-sized target pretty well. Alright, so now you're just at the end of the barrel, which is right there, right here, and I'm just going to be shooting it downrange as the wind is now starting to pick up. Annoying. But uh, just going to be shooting it downrange, not at anything in particular, uh, just to try to give you a idea on the accuracy of this gun. So let's see it shooting. Alright, let's go full auto. Alright, and that's half of the 200 round high cap magazine. I'm going to wind this again and start shooting down range again. Alright, magazine's fully wound, and as you can hear, I don't know if you could even hear me winding the magazine, it's extremely windy, and I'm purposely not going to cut that part out just so you can see how windy it is outside. Alright, so let's wait for the wind to die down a little bit, and start firing, let's go down range again. And if you don't know this, after you get done firing out all the BBs and it doesn't have enough wine to feed all the BBs back in your magazine, if you turn it upside down and start shooting again, you can empty out the magazine. So let's do that. Yep, and it's out of ammo. So hopefully that gives you the uh, sort of a little helpful insight on the accuracy of the CYMA CM.027J.